Now, the next thing that's really cool about the um, right triangles is when we have like Pythagorean triples. So you can recognize here in the last three examples, or the last two examples, I'm sorry, that I did, we, we had radicals as one of our side lengths, right? And that sometimes can be kind of confusing. So when, one of the really cool things about um, Pythagorean theorem is sometimes all the sides are going to be integers. So the most famous Pythagorean triple here is going to be the 3, 4, 5 triangle, right? And again, like this makes sense, like 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to a 5 squared. And again, let's just work it out. This is 9 plus 16 equals 25, and 9 plus 16 is going to be 25 equals 25. Now, here's the cool thing about the Pythagorean triples. This 3, 4, 5 triangle, right, is a Pythagorean triple. And guess what? Every multiple of 2 of that is also going to be a Pythagorean triple. So therefore, we can also see the 6, 8, 10 triangle, the 12, 16, 20 triangle is also, and you can keep on going on and on and on. Now, these are going to be like, this one's very common. This one's very common. Not as much, but you will see it. And then also, we could also go through like the 5, the 12, the 13 Pythagorean triple, as well as the 8, 15, and 17 Pythagorean triple. Now, there's many, many other Pythagorean triples, all right? But the main idea that I think, at least when my teaching and my instruction, these are going to be the ones that are probably going to come up the most. And again, like the reason why they're so important is you don't need to do the Pythagorean theorem. Could you? Of course you could. But like the cool thing is like when you have a problem like this, like let's just kind of take a problem. You know, if, I have, if I'm trying to find the missing length, right? And let's say my triangle looks like this. So it's a right triangle, right? You have to have the right triangle. But let's just pretend I have a five over here and a 12 over here. And I say, solve for X. Well, you could go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem, right? But again, so maybe like your math is a little bit off, but hopefully you recognize like you say, hey, this is a Pythagorean triple, five, 12. The hypotenuse has to be 13. So X equals 13, right? And the same thing kind of works here. Like if we did another one, and let's say you had something like this where it's like a 20 and this is a 12, right? And again, it has to be a right triangle, right? But if you notice like, oh, this looks like a Pythagorean triple and you say, yeah, that's supposed to be a, let's just call that an X, you know, X equal to 16. So knowing your Pythagorean triples is so helpful because a lot of times they do show up. And a lot of times they're going to help you be able to go through the math rather quickly without actually having to do any calculations.